Welcome back to another opening. I'm Turtle and this could be, probably isn't, but we're going to say this could be our last Hidden Fates opening. Um, obviously we've transitioned to the next era of the Pokemon TCG and Cosmic Eclipse wasn't able to end Hidden Fates, but I'm pretty sure Sword and Shield will. However, um, we're going to open at least one more of these or open this because one, the promo wasn't really good for trades. I mentioned that before. Uh, two, there is still like seven, eight cards I still need and three, I want another shiny Charizard. But um, yeah, so we're going to get into this. Yeah, actually you not. Know I'll be right back with this thing opened. All right, so we got everything open. Here is a code card featuring these awesome promos. And I'm just going to grab some perfect fits for these promos. But, uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll do kind of like random openings here and there of Hidden Fates. But that's it, that's exactly what it's going to be. We're going to transition towards Sword and Shield. And this will just be something that we occasionally revisit. But as far as our push and earnest for Hidden Fates, pulling the Master Set and stuff like that, we are going to call, bring a close to that. So let's look back at the past six months and all the fun we've had opening Hidden Fates. We've pulled not one, but two Charizards. All right, so there's always, last time this happened too, there's one pack that was just like a huge amount of super glue. And so it did cause the pack open to open significantly when we were trying to open the box. We'll start with that. And it wasn't completely unsealed. So if there was if there was something in here. If there is something in here, like I don't know. Maybe people won't believe it, but yeah, clearly this thing is still partially sealed. Alright, for potential at last hidden fates opening. Hmm. Rare slot that was upside down. Very strange. All right, Fire Energy, Brock Jim, Giovanni, Koga, Ekans, Charmander. I do hope this this opening does go pretty well. Uh, while we did break our little mini curse of not finding any GX Shinies, it's definitely been very light. And no huge hits in quite some time. We did happen to have a huge opening not too long ago. If you haven't seen it, go check through the channel, just kind of scroll through it. It'll be pretty obvious which one I am referring to. But uh, yeah, Hidden Fates was quite a ride. Definitely very expensive. Uh, definitely the wallet fatigue has kicked in. Erica's Hospitality followed by just a Snorlax. And I am definitely pumped for Sword and Shield. Hmm, a lot of, a lot of edge, edge wear on these cards. It's almost like, what is this, the, uh, what is this, Burning Shadows again? Oh, those Burning Shadows cards. Charmeleon, where is your shiny older brother? Slowpoke, Snorlax, ah, just a jinx. Come on, let's not get completely shut out. While we do have a Wigglytuff GX, I would not exactly call that a hit that meets like the bare minimum requirements of a hit that we don't we are not that excited about so let's get something good all right psychic energy jinx misty clefairy but i feel like this is this set is going to go down as the by far the most popular set in quite some time i'm i kind of doubt sword and shield will be able to match it but we will see Ooh, okay we did get a shiny rock rough it is the textured one i do think rock rough is nice and cute it looks super happy rock rough would be kind of like a pokemon that you, know, you just want to have out and just like running around and stuff like that For me, yeah, definitely this is going to go down as yeah, my favorite set that we've opened on the channel. Let me know if you disagree, and if you do, what is has been your favorite set to open? You know, that as far as modern set goes, you know, I'm sure we would all love to open some vintage stuff, but we're not able to. This is actually a super useful card. 
and this one is just cool to have. Okay, two packs remaining. Definitely not the packs we were hoping for, the results from the packs, but hey, we do have these promos, and uh, yeah, those are always popular at the local events that I attend. So always good to have some redundant copies. Koga's Trap, LT Surge, Pikachu, Voltorb, Coughing, Cubone, Geodude, a Onyx GX. Man, we're rolling in the non shiny GXs, which is very disappointing. Okay, last pack. Probably our last hidden fades packs until we run into a point where, oh, we don't have any product to open. Let's grab a, <laughs> a few hidden fades tins. So. It's been a fun ride, and from here on out, this will just be something that we revisit. But hopefully we can end the era of Hidden Fates on this channel with a bang. And uh, as always, guys, thank you so much for all the support on the channel. I definitely feel like Hidden Fates has done wonders for the I Want a Turtle TCG channel. So thank you all for all that support. Hopefully Sword and Shield continues the fun that is doing content creation on YouTube as a PokeTuber. So thanks for watching, guys. I'm Wanna Turtle. Boom! Oh, a Quagsire. Pretty good. Pretty good card. He's also pretty cute. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'm Wanna Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.